welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I posted a video on here, literally like a year. Uh, but if you will notice, um, we are in way better quality than we were previously when I just shot videos on my iPhone. And that is because I got a new camera for my birthday. I actually got it from Brian, my husband. So shout out to you, babe. Thank you so much. And this is motivating me so much to film some videos. So if you guys want to see more videos from me, go ahead and click the subscribe button now because there will definitely be more. Um, super excited to get back into this. And with that, I thought a good way to jump back into filming videos again is to do a Q&A because some of you might not know me and some of you might just want to get to know me a little more. I have asked questions over on my Instagram with that little um, Instagram sticker. And I've asked you guys to ask me questions and you guys did. I'm not like super famous or anything. It's literally like my family and friends asking me questions. Um, so I don't have that many, but there are some good ones actually, which I'm super excited to answer. And I think you guys will be excited to know about me. So yeah, if you're interested in watching this video, just keep on watching. Let's get right into the questions. Okay, so I've got my phone here with the questions. Um, if I'm looking down a lot, that's why, because they're on my phone, so I have to read them. Anyways, so let's just get started with the first question being, how old are you and how old were you when you got married? If you don't know, I'm married. I got married in November of 2018 um, to my husband, Brian. Maybe we can get him in a video sometime. You guys can get to know him too. Um, but right now I'm 20. I just turned 20 in April and it's May, so last month. And then I was 18 whenever I got married. So pretty young and I definitely hear that a lot. <laughs> like you're so young and you're married like what the heck that ties into our next question which is why did you get married so young and then um one that i kind of linked with it was do you recommend getting married at a young age why i got married so young is because i loved brian i literally love him with all of my heart he's my best friend i could not imagine going through life without him and i just know that like he's my partner for life we're in this together, we're in this for the long haul. Kind of like what made us want to get married is we just kind of knew and I feel like when you know, you do just know. Like we knew that there was no one else for us, it was just us and we were so excited and so happy about that thought. That didn't scare us at all, it just made us really excited, really happy. Um, another thing that kind of like reassured me that we we're doing the right thing was that it was so easy for us to do like the whole process of getting married, um, having a ring, finding a place to get married, finding a place to live, like all of that stuff just kind of flowed very well, like literally perfectly. There was no like hiccups. There was nothing that we had to overcome in order to be married or to get married. So that I kind of took that as God reassuring me that this is the path that he wants me on and this is what I should be doing in my life at this point. So that is why we got married so young. Um, and then do I recommend getting married young? I don't know if I recommend it and I don't not recommend it. I think it's very um, couple to couple and I think that if it's right for you then you will know and maybe you pray about it and see what god thinks about it that definitely was something i did because it is kind of scary like being so young and then making that big of a commitment for literally the rest of your life you do want to know if you're doing the right thing and i truly believe 100 percent my heart that i am doing the right thing and i don't think that if you are not a hundred percent about being married to this person or fully committing to what a marriage is then maybe wait a while so i think it just takes a lot of maturity and um, intention and that's more what it's about rather than the age that you're at definitely um it's it's like a person to person thing so i don't want to say like i recommend it or i don't i recommend doing what you think is right what you feel you should be doing and what makes sense in your life so that's that's what I recommend <laughs> um, 
but the next question is how long have you and Brian known each other so we have known each other for actually like a really long time where we weren't like super close or anything but we definitely um, knew who each other were we grew up in the same small town went to the same small church um, my best friend her brother is actually Brian's childhood best friend so we were kind of like all in the same little circle so we definitely knew of each other we weren't like hanging out or anything but um yeah we've known each other since we we're like really small I want to say I was like five when I moved here so that's kind of like around the time that I got um to know who he was and then we became friends when I was 14 so that's kind of like a little timeline for you <laughs> the next question is a question that I get literally probably every day of my life um from people in person, from family, from friends, from people that I don't even really know, um, that just like see my and Brian's relationship. Um, and that is, when are you having kids? That's a big question. I don't know. We don't have like a uh, like timeline to where we wanna have kids. I definitely want to be younger. I think we both are like kind of thinking sooner than later in life. But it just all depends on what God has in store for our lives. And when he thinks it's the right time, that's when it's going to happen. And right now it's not, which is um, good for us at least because we're able to kind of like establish our family. And then we wanted to be married for at least a year before we um, even thought about having kids. We've already passed that, but yeah, so it's not like... A plan that we have like oh we want to have a kid next year it's just kind of like whenever it happens it's gonna happen for us and we'll be happy if it's tomorrow and we'll be happy if it's in 10 years so is what are your future plans and like I said I don't like to have plans like set in stone obviously like I work towards a goal like I'm not really like a plan like I don't want to say like I have a plan for my life and this is how it's gonna be because that can change literally in a second so we just have goals which goals would be just buying a house, starting a family. Uh, I want to be a stay-at-home mom whenever uh, we have kids. Kind of my main plan is to be happy in whatever we're doing in our marriage as a family. Just want to be happy. That's my number one goal for myself and for Brian and for our family is just to be happy. And then the next question is, will you guys get another dog? If you don't know, I have two dogs. I have Scout and Copper. Um, they are a handful and a half, but I absolutely love them. I'm such a dog mom. They've literally turned me into a dog person before I was definitely a cat person, but my two little loves have changed that about me. Um, and they are literally the best dogs ever. With saying that, definitely not going to be getting a dog anytime soon or literally like anytime soon or even like pretty much in their lifespan it's just gonna be them too because they're a lot of work on their own uh, um they are such good brothers on their own so I don't want to mess that up and I definitely don't think I can handle another dog so definitely not in the near future and not probably in their lifetimes I think it's just gonna be just them for like as long as they're here with us um and I love it that way literally I, I'm good. I don't need another dog. I don't need another animal. <laughs> and then the next question is, are you and Kennedy sisters? And yes, we are. Um, Kennedy's my sister. She's my younger sister. We are 15 months apart. And yeah, she's my sister. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and then the next question is, what is your everyday makeup look? My everyday makeup look something like this. Ooh. <laughs> how weird <laughs> um and then the next question is where do you find your inspiration for your home decor and pinterest i think everybody probably finds their inspiration off pinterest i definitely do um and then just like other um like youtubers and like bloggers instagram people that have really cute homes I definitely pick some inspiration from YouTube videos that are um, like decorate with me. Definitely pull some from there. And then Hobby Lobby, like literally as a store, all their displays give me so much inspiration. So that's kind of 
where I get my inspiration from so maybe one day I'll do like a decorate with me or like show you guys my different decor around the house because that's something I'm super into is decorating my house I love it the last question is what is your favorite clothing store so I'll say like my top three just cuz those are like the only three places that I shop at and they're all my favorites my number one is definitely American Eagle. I literally love their clothes so much. So my style. They always have sales. They have literally the cutest things ever. Their jeans are fantastic. I literally love everything about American Eagle. Secondly, my favorite store is Target for clothes, actually. I think all their collections are so cute. I love the Wild Fable, Universal Thread, and Knox Rose. Those are my faves. I um, actually got this shirt from there, and this is a uh, Wild Fable top, so I love that. And then I got my new um, favorite jeans. They're like a button front jeans. Those are from Target. I literally love them to death, so Target has my heart. <laughs> um, and then lastly, I might be biased because I used to work there, but Maurice's, I think it's so cute and they are so size inclusive, which is always like, like number one. I love that about a company. Um, and they just have such cute things and they always are like getting new stuff in. So it's never like stale or boring. There's always something new and comment your favorite store if you're watching this. That is all the questions that I have for you today or you had for me today. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give me video suggestions down below so I know what you guys want to see and what you're interested in. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos because those are definitely coming your way. And follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below. And I hope you guys have had a great day, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.